let's get straight into it. My first question is actually two gentlemen sent it to me. So Khalid, Khaled, this is the question you asked me in short is, will you support the recent UN resolution on the fair administration of Jerusalem? And so uh, I want to answer the two gentlemen as clearly as possible. So obviously I still support the two-state solution to the Israel-Palestine conflict. Um, I think actually that the vote prejudges the outcome of those resolutions. Someday there'll be peace. I think it prejudges it. It basically says uh, what Jerusalem must be and imposes a decision on both the Palestinians and the Israelis. I, I actually don't think that's the right thing to do in this situation. Um, as we know, Hamas still controls Gaza. Um, and as a conservative and Canada's conservatives, our official position is that we won't abandon the state of Israel, which includes uh, making sure we don't vote for resolutions like this coming from the United Nations uh, that are being sponsored by uh, the North Korean regime. So it's not being done of some good hearted intent to help uh, Palestinians in any way. It's really being done to go after the state of Israel once again. So it's probably not the answer you two gentlemen want to receive. Uh, you know, I read your emails. Um, we conservatives recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Every state out there should have the right to decide where their capital is. I mean, it'd be like somebody telling Canada that we can't decide that Ottawa is our capital for whatever reason that is. Um, I still believe that there, there is a resolution that will come eventually to the conflict in the Middle East between um, the state of Israel and uh, the Palestinian territories, but it'll have to be done on their own terms. And we shouldn't be supporting UN resolutions like this that uh, are prejudging that outcome. Uh, Jerusalem is the capital of Israel and it's up to Israel and the Palestinians to uh, negotiate on that point. 